Okay, so we are moving right along and, and in the last uh, lesson where I was talking about being an email list manager, I sort of began to hint at something that I believe is the difference between sort of helping your client be online and not spend all the hours that they have being online and sort of having a very, very slick, uh, seamless, profitable business. And that is automation. Now, when we talk about automation, the important thing to understand here is that it is created to save somebody time. But in order to first know what needs automating, people need to spend a lot of time doing something. Does that make sense? So for example, if you work in a shop, if you have a shop and somebody comes and buys something and then you've got all the sort of, uh, you've got a form in the shop where you're asking people to fill out their details, sort of say, hey, listen, here's a, here's a prize draw to win. Uh, we're, we're staying on the topic of florists. Here is a pli prize draw to win a bunch of flowers uh, for Mother's Day. Fill out this form. Well, in the shop, you need somebody to fill out a form time after time after time and then your client just to quite literally just have a big old pile of names where they're going oh what am i going to do in order to know that now it is time to set up a system now it is time to set up automation okay so one thing follows another and the reason i'm saying this to you is so you can be sensitive to ask someone to say is there anything you're doing time after time after time or is there something you want to do in a few months time that we could possibly do now because in an automation capacity and let's stick with something like email for the moment this is where you can become very valuable instead of giving somebody a form to fill out in the shop or at a conference or at a workshop you tell them to go online to a web page. They put in their first name, they put in their email, they press a button. Now all of a sudden you can automate that process. Whether that form is filled out and it comes to a video like this to say, hey, thanks for filling out that form. Would you like this? Or they fill out the form and the next thing they do is they get an email or they fill out the form and they have a text message or they fill out the form and they have a phone call. You can see where we're heading with this. It is not limited to any one thing that follows. It's just your job to begin to automate an existing process. Automation service providers are, they are at a different level to some of the standard picks and shovels you provide because once a business owner is able to look back and say, you mean we can do this once? And then this is this classic, happening while I sleep or happening while I'm on a beach or happening while I'm driving here and you're saying, yep, yeah, that's exactly how it happens. They'll say, tell me more. So automation is not for the faint hearted. You need to have a certain thing about what you vibe over and how you learn and you're willing to learn. But my goodness, once you learn how to automate, you will be incredibly valuable. You will be permanently employable. You'll see some links on this page, but just know that an automation services provider is a bona fide pick and shovel.